Welcome back to the lab, folks. Hey, right, today is a good day for the kit of the month. So we're just gonna reach in here, mix them around a little bit. Oh, getting low on kits. I'm gonna have to order some more. Okay, what do I got here? This one doesn't look too complicated. There's one IC, a few resistors, but there's no instructions whatsoever. Um, okay. No parts list. No instructions. Potentiometer. A couple little connectors, a couple of pigtails here. Looks like, a, well, it's an LM3915. So that is bar graph uh, display chip. Oh, that's what this is. Must be, yeah, we've got audio in and power. Couple of nice little mounting holes. We got uh, two capacitors, they're both 104s, 100 nanofarad. And uh, these are supposed to, we've got three 1K resistors. That's those. Supposed to have uh, 100 ohm, 20K, 10K, and 10 ohm. Okay, there's your 10 ohm. There's your 100 ohm. There's your 10K ohm. And that's a 20K. We also got a 2.2K there. So, okay, good. And it uh, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, well, 10 LEDs. Do we have 10 LEDs? We have 10 LEDs. And it seems like we have all the parts. So I'm not gonna bother with any instructions. I'm gonna see if I can make this without any instructions at all. I think you should be able to do that. Very simple little device here. Okay, let's get started. This one shouldn't take too long. All finished here. These uh, wires are a bit long, but I guess that's handy if you go to install it in something. So I did have to, um, the way these uh, diodes here were marked, it looked like it had a K on this side. So I had to, I had to check the uh, spec sheet for the, the chip to figure out which way the diodes went in. It wasn't actually a K, it was just meant to be like kind of like a, a badly written diode symbol but uh yeah okay so here we go uh this right here uh, so you can see that uh spot there that that brings out pin nine which is the mode pin so i guess you could uh you could play around with the mode or you could use it to uh, cascade one to the next if you wanted to put several of them in, in series for some reason um which is handy i guess so let's uh, let's hook up some power to this. Now it's supposed to be, I think, around about 12 volts is basically where these chips work, or at least according to the uh, 
Okay, so that's the power is hooked up. Now we get an audio signal here. I'm going to get a, a one volt RMS. One volt RMS at 600 hertz. And uh, well, let's turn the power on first. 12 volts, we're drawing 0 0.009 amps. Okay, let's put some audio into this thing and see what happens. These alligator clips are not quite as good as the other ones. All right, I turn that on. Now let me uh, let me turn up the amplitude there. Okay, so it seems to go onto the red as soon as it gets 1.2 volts RMS, and it then tops out there at 1.7 volts RMS. So those lights will get brighter as we come down here. So it's kind of like in a chasing mode. Yeah. Seems to work. So we're at uh, probably 100 millivolts RMS. We got first LED is on at 70 millivolts RMS. And it just starts to glow at 50. And each successive light comes on with each approximately 100 millivolts. So yeah, we're up at 900 millivolts and the eighth light is on. All right, I wish I had a, a good source for some sort of audio signal down here. But right now I don't. One more thing I'm going to do before we go is I, I'm going to, let me solder on a, a wire here. I'm going to jumper that, um, jumper that mode switch. I'm just going to put a, put a, put a little uh, header in there and we'll uh, try that out. Oh, I'm wondering if it's... Okay, uh, I'm wondering if the holes here are big enough to take the pins from the header. Yes, they are. They are just. Okay, let me get the power off this and solder this up. Okay, power it up. And we're going to put on this. Ah, okay, so that just makes a solid bar graph. Yeah, neat. So it's either this mode or kind of like the, the dot chaser mode. And uh, you could use this here to uh, adjust the level. So it'll give you a, a lot of adjustment as well. That's the maximum of my function generator, seven volts RMS, and you just barely got it lit. So you could, uh, you could adjust this, or you could hook it up to a speaker, quite a powerful system. Or you can adjust it so you can attach it to the preamp stage. I'll leave a link to the data sheet in the description down below. Okay, folks. Well, that's it. It's a nice little kit. Very easy build. Uh, it, the lack of instructions is a little bit of a drawback. But as long as you put in the, you know, the anode on this side, the cathode on this side of the diodes, you're, you're fine. Everything else just kind of goes into place. It's a nice compact little module. In fact, I'm going to add this into my collection of useful modules. And I'm sure at some point in time, I'm going to have a project where I need just something of this nature. Nice little chip. And, uh, you know, like I said, a nice little soldering kit. Great. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.